your, your fashionable pet selfies is what I'm after on the programme today. Rue, you sent me one. I'm not quite sure what of, though. I can only see uh, clicking on it. Is it a horse? Hang on a second. I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a great picture. I'm trying to work out what it is. Possibly a horse, uh, Rue. Thank you very much indeed. Um, it, she, she does say, baby girl doesn't quite get the concept of pet selfies. Thank you for that. It's, it's just the head. I think, which is fantastic. Um, so keep those coming in, please. You can tweet me at Rupal R. Um, and it's about uh, pet selfies. It's going to be difficult. I know you're going to struggle with trying to get your pet to take a photograph of themselves. But you could, you could, you could perhaps get yourself in there, as I have done on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash BBC Leicester. I want to see your pet photographs, you, you either with you in it or, you know, the ones that they've taken themselves, clearly. Um, <laughs> we're doing this for a very good reason, because the RSPCA in Leicester are asking you to get your pet selfies on their Facebook page to help them raise money, uh, to explain Lee Mayer and Rachel Alcock, both here in the studio, along with Madeline, who is the rabbit, and she <laughs> is gorgeous. Gorgeously. She is gorgeous. Tell me a little bit about Madeline. Well, she's, uh, she's been with us for about three months now. Um, she's, um, she's a beautiful albino rabbit. She's a, a dwarf mix, so she's quite small. Um, she can be a little bit of a handful sometimes, but uh, she's relaxing really nicely for you at the moment. She is. In <laughs> fact, she even let us take a selfie, didn't she? <laughs> she did. She, she did. An angel. And we're going to tweet that. I'm going to tweet that um, in the next few minutes. So do, if you do want to see a photograph of a little Madeline here in the studio with me at uh, BBC Radio Lessons, then uh, you can follow me on Twitter. It's at Rupal R. And I'll try and put that on Facebook as well. There's, a, there's also another a photograph of me with little Angel, who's a, a Shih Tzu cross... Uh, Chihuahua on our Facebook page uh, and it's just one of my favourite pictures of, of Little Angel facebook.com slash BBC Leicester but you guys are asking people to put, put um, their pet selfies on your Facebook page Rachel, why? Um, we, we want to do it to um to try and raise a bit of money, money. Right? Yeah, 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 to raise a lot of money about it, yeah. So, I mean, what's the sort of concept behind it, Lee? What are you, what are you sort of suggesting? So people put photographs on your Facebook page. Okay, so w what we're, we're aiming for, really, is, is using the power of Facebook to boost awareness of its work and attract donations for the animals at the centre. Um, so what we're asking people to do is basically post a selfie of, uh, of your pet, or maybe and yourself, or <laughs> on Facebook, um, using the hashtag fashionable pet selfie, um, and text post 14 three pound to 770, um, and that'll make an automatic donation of three pound um, to the centre. And you can nominate your friends as well on Facebook by, by nominating them and tagging so, them. So tagging them and saying, yes. right, it's your turn to do exactly yeah. the same thing. This is op you know, clearly op um, um, a fundraising exercise for you guys, because, but it's vital that, that you manage to raise that sort of, um, as much money as you can. It's... Really. It's amazingly vital for us. Um, I mean, why, why donations are important to us? We're, we're a self-funded charity. We don't receive any money from um, the RSPCA headquarters or um, any other body, um, and we can only fundraise within the Leicestershire area. So the support of the people out there is really important to us. And just how much money do you actually guys need, um, you know, sort of on a yearly basis? Have you got any sort of ideas? Yearly, uh, ooh, I don't know, we'll have to work it out. Mm. I mean, it costs about £18,000 a week to run the centre, so it's a horrendous amount of money. You know, we, we do need to keep it, it coming in. I mean, I can give you some figures of the animals that we've got at the centre at the minute, just so you've got a rough idea. Um, 110 cats, including the ones in foster care, you know, about 60 dogs, 10 ferrets, 22 rabbits, 34 birds, so... You know, there's such a, a huge amount of animals that we've got at the moment, that, and they all need care, they need feeding, they need looking after, they need veterinary care, yeah. um, and that's where, you know, we need this money. And it all costs, exactly. But, yeah. I mean, Rachel, so just tell me a little bit about Madeline again. She, you, You're looking for a home for Madeline. We well, are, yeah, we are looking for a home for Madeline. As I say, she's been in the centre for about three months now. Um, but she, she's a lovely rabbit. Yes, yeah, she does get a little bit boisterous now and then. Um, she loves to be, as you can see, she's totally racked. She's actually fallen asleep on my lap um, while I'm talking to you now. Um, she loves to throw plant plots at you. Um, she <laughs> loves to hop around in and out uh, tunnels. Um, as I say, she's so relaxed at the moment, but she doesn't help herself when she's in a pen at, at Woodside because she just needs a caring home now. Yeah, she's, yeah. I mean, she yeah. is adorable. I cannot believe how well-behaved yep. she is. Yeah. 
you know, I was thinking, no, go and get her out of the cage, but actually <laughs> she's just she's just adorable, no hassles whatsoever. And and so, you know, the idea of, of, of you know, people posting on your Facebook page, I had a look earlier, actually, is is to, you know, have a bit of fun at, at, at the same time as well. I mean, Rachel, have you got a photo up there of, of, of a pet of yours? I haven't. I haven't done it yet, but I've got to do it. <laughs> I have got to do it. <laughs> I mean, have you, had a, have you had a look lately, Lee, who's on your Facebook page in terms of photographs? We haven't had a look, had a look no. this morning, but I think there, there's quite a few coming in now, and I think all the staff are going to be getting involved this week, I have to say, so there, there should be a lot more coming in. So, look, loads of things people can do. I mean, just by doing this um, and, and sort of texting um, a, a donation to you guys, which we'll give out, you know, we'll give, a, give out those details again. They can help you raise money. People can have a bit of fun as well yeah. um, whilst it, and because we all, I mean, I don't know, if it, most animal lovers will love looking at photographs of, you know, pet, people's pets, which is just, it's just, a, it, it puts a huge smile on your face, doesn't it? Yeah. So, how do people do that then? If they want to post um, on your Facebook page, where do they need to go? So, it's um, Woodside Animal, sorry, it's RSPCA Luster, sorry, um, dot org dot UK. Um, need to go on to that. And if you just have a little look around, you'll, you'll see, um, you can, sorry, that's, a, that's the RSPCA website if you want to um, donate directly to Woodside. If you want to um, go on to Facebook, you need to go on to Woodside Animal Centre. Facebook um, and then you can obviously post your selfie um, and we'd like to see anything basically your, your pets in a fashionable pose your pets showing off a new collar a new coat new haircut um, you can pose alongside them like we were saying anything that you like um, and just to repeat what I said um, use the hashtag fashionable pet selfie and text pose 14 three pound to 770 um, and you can make your £3 donation. Yeah, and then you can nominate your friends to do the same Definitely. as well by tagging them <laughs> in your Facebook post. Well, I've actually liked the uh, the Woodside Animal Centre page on Facebook, and I will... Um, I'll definitely put a selfie on there, a pet selfie on there, and, and tag lots of people as well. <laughs> uh, look, it's been lovely to meet you guys. If people do want to find out more about what you guys do, um, uh, how do they do that? But ideally, it's on the internet? Um, yeah, they can um, go onto our, our website, so that's rspcaleicester.org.uk, um, and or they can also contact us at the centre. We're based on Scudamore Road in Leicester, um, and our phone number is um, 0116 233 if they want to give us a call. Um, about absolutely anything, and we're, we're always here to help. Oh, lovely. Look, um, ladies, thank you for coming in, and thank you for introducing me to uh, Madeline as well, because she's absolutely adorable. If you're interested, by the way, give them a call. Uh, that's the 233-6677. That's 233-6677. But if you want to take part for, for, for fun, but also help raise money as well, uh, and uh, you want to you tweet your, your, um, uh, fa your pet selfie use the hashtag fashionable pet selfies um and if you want to donate help them um, you know raise a bit more money it's pose 14 and then the amount so three pounds to 770 uh, to make an automatic three pound donation you can also nominate as you heard uh, your friends to do the same thing by tagging them on facebook all right read some really cute pictures on there already if you want to send them to me right now do it go on oh double one six two five one one oh four nine but you can tell me about your pets but you can text me those eight one triple three start your text message with the word lester if you want to uh, you know uh, send me a text picture that's fine you can email me rupal at bbc.co.uk or you can tweet me and if you're tweeting fashionable pet selfies is the hashtag Madeline's gone to sleep I want a cuddle and I'm going to get one whilst you listen to Roy Orbison